Trang, and boy, do we have a good one for you today. I'm being cancelled on Instagram, and why? Well, because I asked a question. I wrote, do you agree? That's it. And so my own personal motto is, you learn more from debate than you do from hate. But apparently... Everyone hates Coach Greg, and why? Well, because he asks questions. There's a woman who has about 500,000 followers. The title of the video, it says, Be nice to your belly and self. Sounds great, right? When you pass puberty and you become a woman, your body will send extra fat cells down here to protect your uterus. Because your body loves you so much, it's trying to protect your femininity. So be nice to it. My response to this video was, do you agree? I never said if I agreed with her or disagreed with her. I never said to go and bully her. I never did any of these things. I literally said, do you agree? But... Do set. Yo, biggest mosquito is here and Greg I have to agree with you Greg it's not very often that little old me agrees with you but before we dive into your video quick update gonna try to get all the content done today uh, most of you guys know tomorrow I'm on the road I'm going to be gone for over a week. So there will be no content at all next week. Uh, I will be filming, but it won't be no upload next week while I am away. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to address uh, my 5 situation in one of the upcoming videos. I got to talk about some fat exception shit in one of the upcoming videos. Uh, my members getting their two videos and uh, so much more. So I just want to give you guys a, a channel update. No live stream until after this week. I will be gone next week i won't you won't see me on social media at all next week it'll be the following week when i get back now let's get back to greg uh juicy body goddess 2.0 on instagram uploaded a video okay greg Doucette asked a question which he really did do you agree it was a poll and of course <clears throat> 98 no 95 percent says no love yourself and lose some fat cells and of course five percent say yes love yourself and accept the fat cells now I'm going to be blunt with you. You guys know I'm Greg Doucette, Biggest Mosquito. You know, I normally just roast Greg because it's just fun to just roast Greg. Because Greg says a lot of stuff that contradicts him. One minute he's against D-Loading, the next D-Loading's already essential. Like, he does stuff for views. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just his stitch. That's what he does. He promotes his subs. No wrong with getting money. Of course, a lot of stuff he says to promote subs is cunning people. That's why we call him the con man. And Greg knows all this. And Greg just does what Greg does just to get people to talk about him. And hence, the biggest mosquito. Now, with that being said, however, I don't believe in trying to silence anyone. All right. Or trying to bully someone off of social media. And in this case, women are known to try and do it more than men. It's a defense mechanism. But if you can't handle what happens on social media, you don't need to be on social media. That's just the way it is. Social media is a cruel, cruel place. You can be doing everything right, not bothering no one. I give you a good example, Jeff Nipper. He stays to himself a lot of times. He talks about science behind training. And in his comment section, he gets accused of taking steroids and lying and blah, blah, blah. You're going to always have your crowd of people that no matter what you do, you can give them blood tests. Until the, the fucking wheels fall off, they already formed an opinion about you because that's just how people are. And they are entitled to their opinions. Now, for Greg to ask a question, because yes, he's not natural. Yes, he's 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 a male bodybuilder. Yes, his physique to someone that's out of shape can be a little bit intimidating, right? And when there's a woman involved, they like to play the victim card. That's just facts. They claim that Greg was harassing and bullying them with that comment. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to link his video down below. And I agree with Greg. I'm not taking shit down. And they're only doing it because it's a man. 
and I hate to play the race car. He's a white man. I think he's a Jew, but a successful man, a millionaire with a big following. That's exactly what happens when you are in that echelon of where Greg is at. I talk about fat bitches all the time. They ain't trying to silence me because why? I'm a black guy. I'm not as wealthy as Greg. And in their case, attacking me, it don't it don't have the same effect like attacking Greg because Greg is someone that's in the spotlight. So all eyes are going to be on Greg you said, right? However, it makes them look weak. And this thing about as you mature, women put on more fat to protect their reproductive organs. Let me let, listen. Your guts, your ovaries, your intestines, your bladder, your stomach, your lungs, all of that, you're going to house fat there whether you are a man or a woman. It's called visceral fucking fat. It's there for a reason. It's to keep your organs in place, right? And to, to cause cushion around the organs to protect them. Then you have what we call subcutaneous fat. That is the fat that's under your skin, that's in between your skin and your muscular skeleton, right? That fat is what is essential for hormonal development. The reproductive hormones and stuff like that that usually lead to pregnancy, okay? When you have a lot of fat down around your navel and shit a lot of times, it's a lot of fat protruding, that stomach fat. We call that visceral fat. That is fat that you don't want too much of because it can have some dire consequences on your overall health. Don't believe me? Look it up. Most people that house a lot of fat in their stomach area a lot of time, that's visceral fat. And it's, it becomes very obvious when you have rolls on your arm, that's visceral fat. That's not subcutaneous fat. That is visceral fucking fat. Okay? It's just more confined to where your organs at, but it can be all over your fucking body. It can be all over. That, that's only so much subcutaneous fat you can hold on your arms, on your legs. Then it becomes just visceral fucking fat. Okay? It's just, that's just biology. That's just the way it is. But it's mainly confined to where your organs are at. This notion that you should love yourself because you are fat is fucking stupid. Because fat women have, and fat men... Right? The Nick Carter Avocados of the world and, and the Brentley G's of the world. But Brentley G's actually trying to lose weight. So hats off to him. Let's see if he can stay on that gravy train when his weight loss slows down. Let's see if he can make the proper adjustments to keep it going. But you got some fat punks in the world like Bookie 2988, Everyday Pedo 445, EDP, all those big motherfuckers that think it's okay to be fat. It's fucking stupid. That's their way of giving up. That shit that that female said is just her way of trying to accept the fact that she's fat and doesn't want to lose fucking weight. Because people procrastinate. It's hard. We have what we call evasive tactics. Trying to escape, escape tactics. When there's things that inquire, require to do some hard work, we procrastinate and come with excuses to escape trying to do it. I.e., we tell ourselves, it's okay to be fat. We'll come with any type of loopy ass science to corroborate what we believe. Okay? It's not okay to be fat. It's okay to have body fat percentages in a healthy range. Everybody requires some form of body fat of the subcutaneous fat and the adipose tissue to survive. It's called essential fat. That, that's why we have body fat percentages. For man, it's anywhere from 10 to no more than 20%. For women, it's about between 15 and 25%. The taller you are, the more body fat percentage you have. The shorter you are, the less body fat percentages that you need. Because once again, you're five foot three with 200 pounds, 300 pounds of weight on you. You're well outside the recommended body fat percentage. The same thing if you are five foot three and you are, say, 90 pounds, you're anorexic, you're too far away on the south side of the body fat percentage. You have to be in a certain range for hormonal regulation purposes that would keep your ass alive and to have your body functioning as a well or machine. And that also comes with diet and exercises and, and just the way you do life management skills, stress management, all that fucking shit. This notion that you said is fucking stupid. Lose some fucking weight. 
and all this. There's a kid in the video. You, the shit you're saying is harassing the kid. Don't put shit on the internet if you can't handle criticism. You know what? Mass reporting Greg's do said shit. If I was Greg, I'd get my representative on the fucking phone and then counteract what y'all are doing because that's bullying. And I would have all your accounts removed. That's just the way I would play the fucking game. You're going to try to use that woke shit as an excuse, that fucking sympathy shit, uh, uh, simp and shit as an excuse. I'm a white knight. You shouldn't say that shit. It's called freedom of fucking speech. He didn't threaten nobody. He just used his terms. Fat asses. It's a it's an actual biological term. They're like somebody try to silence my channel. I can appeal it and fight it. I'm I I'm in my right to say fat asses. It's ass is in the vocabulary. Fat is in the vocabulary. It's not in the form of abuse. It's a form of education. It's an educational video. You're gonna take it down because you are a fat ass. No, you are a fat ass. Lose weight. Your whole ass is fat. Lose fucking weight. And the only reason why they went out to Greg, because Greg is white and he's rich and he's he he's known and 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 on the, 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 the uh social media industry. He's known. And so that's why they done it. Exactly why. If it would have been April Lauren or Tess Holiday, fat ass Lizzo, fat ass somebody that would have said something about that post, it wouldn't even made traction like that. Two fat folks having a disagreement about something would have made traction. Wouldn't have made traction. If Arnold Schwarzenegger would have said something, it would have took off. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold is bullying fucking people. If Donald Trump would have said something, it would have took off. How dare Donald Trump fucking say that shit? If it was Eddie Murphy, it would have took off. What do they all have in common? A lot of this, and they're well-known individual people. Period. Just soft. Y'all some soft motherfuckers. If you can't handle the heat, get the fuck out the kitchen. So I stand with Greg on this one. It's not very common that a mosquito stands with his adversary. But in this situation here, I side with fucking goddamn Greg. I do. Fuck what they talking about. If I were Greg, if I were Greg Doucette, I would beat this dead horse till I couldn't beat this dead horse no more. This would be the one time I tell Greg, stay on their fucking ass. Because he has a point. He just asked a legitimate question. How can you love yourself when you can barely walk down some stairs without losing your breath? Take a shit while you trying to squeeze out some turds you sweating on the toilet. Heart rate's up because you trying to contract your muscles to pull out, to push out a turd. Because believe it or not, when you're taking shits as good as it fucking feels for the most of us, your heart rate goes up a little bit. Why? Because muscles are, are contracting. Blood has to go to where the muscles are working at the most. So that, and for, therefore, increases your heart rate. So the fatter you are, the higher your heart rate is going to go up because the more muscle you're trying to push through all that fat to empty your fucking bowels. That's why some fat people have massive heart attacks in the middle of bowel movements. That's a fucking fact. Some of them have heart attacks while trying to fuck. Why? Because arousal increases the heart rate because blood flow is going to the sex organs. And some people that's very obese, that's so happy that they finally get a piece of ass, he or she, they heart gives out. And they be on top of their partner or hitting it from the back, two wars is trying to fuck, and one of them croak. In some cases, both. Normally happens right before they orgasm. And that's a fact. Sweating all, that's why you need to lose fucking wait so no don't love your belly fat because majority of that is visceral fucking fat it's okay to love yourself but if you can't bend down to tie your shoe or see your abs at least or at least able to raise your leg up to your chest like this shit right here watch my shit like raise it up like this pull it in standing if your knee is way out here and you can't bring it in, there's a fucking problem with you. You might want to get yourself checked. And I can do it with both. I can raise my left one and bring it the fuck in. See that? 
bring it in. It's damn near touch my chest. If you can't do that, there's a fucking problem with you. You might want to get yourself checked. Do what Alan Roberts preaches. Sit down on the floor Indian style so he can't stand the fuck up. How fast can you stand the fuck up? Be surprised half of y'all can't even do that. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. So, you guys go support Grand Doucette's video. This the one time I'm going to say go support Grand Doucette. I can't believe I'm saying that. Greg, we might not see eye to eye on everything. But, this is the one time. The one time I can say you are indeed correct. Go support Greg's video. Give it a like. Spread it. Share it. It's time to take the fast steps down. That's just how I'm looking at it. You guys have a good day. I'm Ira One. Peace.